Hi, right, so in this video I wanted to talk about uh, some different tips and tricks, some different ways that you can utilize uh, the different pieces here. If you're, if you're familiar with Lego, you've probably you know, seen some of these things, um, but if you're not, or everything's kind of new, this might be helpful uh, for you to just sort of uh, be aware of some of the things. Uh, for instance, if you look at this angle beam, um, I've got another angle beam over here. Um, it's really like everything in the Lego Technic uh, world is either a, a circle or a plus. Okay, so like a, like a circle hole, which we'll call a pinhole, or an axle hole. All right, if it's a pinhole, you know, then you're going to put pins in it, some, you know, circles. And if it's an axle hole, like you have here on the end, then you can put axles in it. And obviously the pinholes, uh, you can spin things around. The axle holes, if you spin the axle, the whole entire thing uh, moves. So that's something that you always want to always be on the lookout. Sometimes you, you find a, a pinhole or an axle hole in somewhere that you know you might not uh, realize. For instance, what I call the bazooka pins, these sort of long pins with a little bushing here on the end. Um, uh, they're great for combining uh, multiple uh, beams like that. Um, I think easier than a black pin because you can always just pull out uh, the whole pin either side or put it in halfway if you need to take this one out but still leave that pin in there uh, for that reason. But what I was actually uh, pulled this out to show you is that look on the end there. You've got an axle hole. So yeah you could put an axle there and then all of a sudden you, uh, you're moving both of those. Now uh, there's, there's still a little bit of friction there between those pins. It's not uh, the same as if you had an axle all the way through those but um, that's sort of like a neat feature that you might not otherwise uh, see. Um, another thing, just sort of as a general building tip, is, you know, with new kits, uh, the the pieces can be slippery. Um, uh, you know, pulling pins out uh, if your fingers aren't used to it, that can be uh, a little bit frustrating. Well, just grab an axle, and you can push it through, and of course, then it falls on the floor like that. But anyway, uh, that's a nice little uh, tip. Uh, these. Like all these next sort of pieces that I'm going to show you, they're, they're generally called cross blocks because they allow you uh, to build in multiple directions. So, you know, like your, your traditional Legos, like these, you're just stacking them one on top of each other. Um, occasionally, you drop the piece or, you know, you, you have them on the side or something like that. But it's normally just like a stacking sort of game. But with the Lego Technics, like something like, like this, uh, what I call the biscuit, um, you can build up and down, so you can try to hold like this, you can build up and down, but also side to side, forward, you know, or uh, forward and backward, it all just depends on the orientation there. So, you know, you can stick pins in here, but then you can also stick a pin going that way as well. And so that's going to allow you to build in multiple dimensions, which is pretty cool. Um, and so when I, when I call something a cross block, that's... Um, that's what you've got going on here. For instance, this we call the, the horse cross block. It kind of resembles a horse. You know, we've got pins going down, pins going this way, so that's going to allow you uh, to make uh, 90 degree angles uh, very quickly between beams. But then all of a sudden now, look, you've got pinholes there. So we could put pins there and then start having, uh, you know, other beams or axles or other things like that going out uh, in those other directions. You know, I mean, even if you wanted to if you needed to stick an axle through there. So anyway, that's a that's sort of a neat thing. The same kind of thing you have with this I cross block. You could be having pins there, but also you see you have pins going this way. So always thinking, you know, multiple dimensions. Uh, this right here, I call this the camera cross block because it looks like an old camera. Um, you've got axle uh, holes there on the top and then a pin hole right in the middle. Uh, same thing here with this H cross block. Again, you can see it's really good for uh, attaching beams, uh, top and bottom, and then you've got uh, ways that you can go in and out. Uh, even a nice, you know, pinhole right there in the middle, which it's kind of neat. I never noticed that. Um, these, uh, I don't know what to call these, two beams or whatever, uh, they're located normally right up here with the gears. Uh, they've, they've got axle holes, um, but they're really good for uh, gripping. So if you've got a situation where you need to grip something, 
uh, they provide a, a good high friction way of doing that. A lot of, sometimes in competitions or other things like that, you're not allowed to use tape. But these, these, these are pretty grippy. So anyway, that's something uh, to consider as well. Uh, you've got in this kit, you've got traditional Legos and, you know, always be on the lookout for interesting ways that you can connect them. Like this beam will snap right to that traditional Lego, uh, which is pretty cool. So, uh, you know, sometimes you might want to do some, some more decorative things. If you've got uh, Legos at home, you bring them. Um, that's always kind of a fun thing uh, to do. All right, so there's just some general building uh, tips and techniques and just wanted to kind of show you some, some interesting features about this system. Thanks for watching.